So I have my little SEMA X5SC and it's got this cool little camera on it, you know, for a cheap quadcopter. Um, not the highest quality image, but you know, it works. Um, for a little starter drone, trying to learn how to fly one of these things really well. Um, but it's fixed mounted um, onto the bottom of the quadcopter. And I've seen a few people, I guess they've kind of leveled it out and stuff. I don't see a big reason to do that. But um, what I'm trying to do is build a uh, little free floating gimbal. You know, it won't have motors, it won't be gyro stabilized um, or anything like that, but hopefully it'll keep the camera a little more level than, uh, you know, than having it just fixed on the, uh, on the bottom of the quadcopter. So, um, I've already started tinkering around a little bit. I think I'm going to use some zip ties with the little screw holes and, uh, I'm going to end up gluing some, probably JB Weld, some screws together that fit in these, uh, zip ties pretty well. So I'll do what I can to kind of show progress um, and definitely get the uh, finished result. Hopefully it works out okay. And uh, if everything works out right, I can do this in a way that I'll be able to put it back to stock uh, should I fail or, you know, if it just doesn't work that well, at least I can put it back to how it was originally. Okay, so here's uh, what I've got so far. These are actually rack mount screws for uh, mounting uh, computer hardware and stuff into a rack. Um, there's a nut you can't see under that JB weld there um, to space out the that guy and the other guy across from it. And then these are on the flat sides of the nut. And uh, that's just some quick setting JB weld epoxy. So. Everyone knows JB Weld is magic, so hopefully that'll hold pretty well. And the idea is basically this little plastic guy here, uh, which is just you screw it to a wall or something like that, and then you can run zip ties to hold whatever to the wall or the ceiling, whatever. In this case, it usually is for cable, uh, network cable particularly. Um, but two of the screws will go in there, you know, either way, through the zip ties, through the little screw holes in the zip ties, and then uh, I'll do something similar on the other way, so that way you get your roll and pitch out of it. Um, so, we'll go ahead and switch camera angles here and uh, explain a little bit further. <clears throat> Here's our little saddle, and this will go on the bottom of the uh, quadcopter, something like that. Um, probably just use sticky tape, double-sided tape for that, some of these little guys. But these screws, get my hand out of the way, these screws, like I said, they're just for rack mounting, and they'll go through like that. That'll give us our pitch and then they'll be I haven't figured out how to attach these guys quite yet but I'll take another one of these and they'll go for our roll for left and right basically um, that's where we're at so far hopefully it works um, you know if it doesn't oh well uh, if it does then awesome hopefully it works good uh, I'll have to figure out some sort of shock mounting uh, to take out some of the vibration. But uh, either way, just on the gimbal, it should be better than it was uh, just mounted to the quadcopter. Because any vibration in the quadcopter, you know, hard mounted to it, you're going to see that anyway. So, uh, we'll see. Right, so, here's what we got now. This little plate that the camera is mounted to by stock and you can kind of see the sticky tape in there just holding it on so I can always pop it off if I want to later on. And you can see my little little cross I made out of those screws. So 
that gives us our left and right. I was going to do it the other way, but I realized this will work a little better because then I could just glue some of the zip ties on the side. And there is room, so I can always take that back off and screw it back on there if I need to or want to. Uh, and not have to necessarily pull those off. And if I do want to, those should come off. These zip ties on the side should come off uh, relatively easy. So, you can see, you know, a little shaky. So, I mean, I'll have to come up with some sort of a shock stabilizer. And uh, i got to figure out how to keep these guys centered, but still free. Uh, not sure how I'm going to do that yet, but mostly because if you uh, if it gets off centered, you see it wants to lean. Um, so hopefully we can get it to stay centered. Um, but you know that's what we got so far. So uh, I'm going to have to extend the little wires, which will probably be a little bit of fun. I'll probably just snip those and then add some extra wire. I'll have to find some small wire like for that. Now because these screws, you know, screws are metal, um, it does add a little bit of weight but it should be enough that the uh, the copter will fly still um, you know, once I get it repaired because <laughs> uh, I don't know how well you can see that there. There should be a little gear right there to drive that bigger gear. And uh, basically what happened, definitely won't be able to see that, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, there we go. You can kind of see it, but that hole in the center is actually offset now. It's not centered in the middle of the gear anymore because I uh, crashed it into a tree and I didn't have the prop guards on. I don't know if the prop guards would have helped anyway. But the little shaft for the motor spun inside the gear and melted it so it offset. So I had to uh, order some new ones and should be showing up in the mail any day now uh, along with some new prop guards because the ones I had, I took them off because they are all busted up. Uh, tell I'm still learning to fly it. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, once we uh, to get those on there, I'll uh, try hooking this thing up and see how it works. And actually here, I can just give you an idea of what it looks like. Now it's definitely not an active gimbal, but it works okay. I'll probably uh, just double-sided tape or something, but I'll probably put one or two of these little washers uh, on the bottom of the camera just to give it a little bit of weight so that it helps stay on there. Uh, and I'll have to extend the landing gear just a smidge, but that's not too big a deal, I don't think. Uh, either that or I'll just have to bring it in so <laughs> that it tilts off to the side and uh, when it lands, it doesn't tip over. So the camera tips off to the side so it doesn't tip over. Um, but, uh... I think that's kind of it for now. Um, haven't seen too many ideas for just you know cheap, simple, free-floating gimbals like that. Uh, certainly not for the X5 or uh, any of the variants of the X5. So hope you guys like it. Uh, I'll be trying to do more of these types of things, and hopefully I can get some video with the quadcopter again soon, and you know put together some videos with that. So uh, see you guys later. Go ahead and click like and. Uh, you know, hey, why not sub subscribe? I could, uh, could use some of those. <laughs> All right, guys, fly safe, uh, don't drink and drive.